episode of Circle BRG's review time. This time, a little different look, yeah. Got a haircut. It's right here, and of course, you know, just casual short right now. Nothing fancy and stuff. But, you know, you know, it's just relaxing today, you know, finally taking a break and stuff. So, perfect time to do a review. Now, next game I like to review, I got this game for like five bucks off of. E uh, I don't think it was eBay, but it was some game store, one of the recent game stores, off online stores I shop at, sells vintage video games and stuff. <coughs> but, I got this one game for Sega Saturn, it's like a first person robot shooter called Robotica. It's a pretty nice game, except I'm surprised how huge these Sega Saturn cases are. They're like, really huge, they're kind of like a jewel case, except they're huge. And... This is not the only thing. I know Sega CD had this type of concept when it came to cases, but I'm surprised how huge this game is, so the cases, so I don't have much to say, but why don't we pop in the game and get this game track? It's been fun ever since I got it. And one of the first things I did immediately notice was sometimes the controls can get a little confusing. Like sometimes you have to press this button if you want to switch an item. This button just use the item and these are to like shoot and jump and stuff. Get a dodge stuff. It's kind of like a first person too. You get all, you get a variety of weapons and stuff. You know, like guns and devices, also healing items too. And you just go out the game, shoot robots and stuff. And you find enemies and you like find all items and stuff. It's kind of like a maze a little bit if you play it a lot. You know, it's kind of like a maze when you picture it that way. Which is really fun and stuff. And there's also hidden areas of the game, like there's a part where you can even like press this computer system and next thing you know it um, a map comes up and updates your map and stuff and that's how it's pretty good to include a map. This game turned out to be perfect I thought when I played it you know it's still a pretty good game. still like the graphics even though it's kind of like a kind of like a Doom perspective you know one of those 2D 3D type but you know first person view. Same concept as some other games that are being made and played and stuff but I still had a fun time playing this. Music was pretty good too Sorry about the cop. But, you know, the other thing too was when I first got I couldn't stop playing. There's like dozens of floors. That's the thing is, the game's kind of long actually, I want to admit. Because there's dozens of floors. Our cool part is if you're lucky, you find upgrades and stuff, which will increase your, like, I don't know about the health, but mostly they work by increasing the capacity of your guns and stuff. And weapons, and, you know, you get a variety of weapons to start out. Sometimes you have to find the ammo too and stuff. And,. I really don't have too much to say about this game. My only major concern about this game pretty much is everything's all fine and stuff. It's just sometimes it, the stages could be really confusing or mixed up. Sometimes you even, it does feel like a maze. Sometimes you'll end up in one part you've already been to. Main reason why it's a little difficult is sometimes it's even hard to like find an exit that allows you to go to the next level. And my only other concern was the controls were just kind of weird and stuff. But overall, this game is still pretty fun. It's not bad and stuff. It's not a fun time playing it and stuff. You know, I still like using the shoot button and stuff. I even could stop playing this for like hours or since I got. However, I don't have too much other stuff to say right now, but this game is still pretty good and stuff. So, everything's all fine. So, why don't I cause, pause the gameplay footage and chit chat and get to the final results? So, overall, I really don't have too much problems with this game. Overall, I don't have too much to say here, but it's still a pretty fun game. It's one of those games where you don't have too much to say. But, overall, this game's pretty fun. It's awesome. For, for if you're a first person, like, first person shooters and stuff. All those action. And, actually, I want to admit, this game was kind of worth the bargain, because, to be honest, um, I scored the game complete for only, like, five or six box, bucks off one of the websites I got it from, and I was all like, well, I guess this was worth the investment. So, still a pretty fun game and stuff, and not have too much to say, but let's just give the game a 9.0. Because, you know, I do like the graphics and the gameplay and stuff. Everything else turned out pretty cool. They did a good job of releasing the game. My only major concern was maybe the controls were a little confusing. And, of course, you know, sometimes it, the map, or what was it? The map layout of the level is kind of a little confusing too because it takes you time to find the exit. 
Oh, well, the rest of the game's pretty fun, actually, and the graphics are pretty good, too, and stuff, for a game that was released off the Sega Saturn, so... Anyway, let's give the game, uh, 9.0. So, that's all I have to say, so... See you guys in the next review.